So most of you guys probably already know this, but FabFilter just dropped their newest version of their EQ, Pro Q4. Some people are saying this is a pointless upgrade, but in my opinion, this is one of the most top tier updates I've seen from a plugin company in a long time. Not only does FabFilter listen to their customers, but they added some of the most insane features and some of the stuff that we really need. So we're gonna go over three different things in FabFilter that I think have really changed and are gonna actually affect the way you use it. With the first thing being the small things they added, the small features like being able to draw an EQ, some of the different algorithms they came up with, subtle and warm and some of the UI changes and the second being the fact that you now have a session view where you can view every single fab filter open in your session in one window and this feature I think is going to be the most useful and then the third thing being the most practical feature they added which is that spectral EQ which is basically going to dynamically take out bad resonant frequencies for you and this is going to make fab filter a powerhouse being able to do multiple different tasks in one plugin is just crazy you could replace your DSers and different plugins like that but let's jump into the video and I want to show you guys some of these features so let's go over step one if you go on a fab filter right now you can literally just click anywhere and start drawing and just shape your eq how you want it now like i said this is kind of a minimal feature but it's cool for saving time if you wanted to open up fab filter and just instantly draw a quick little vocal something like that and then go in and adjust later this will just help save time you won't have to go to your presets or anything like that you could just quickly draw in an eq and then i also want to show you guys some of the new algorithms they added they have a subtle and a warm one i really doubt most of you guys are really going to be using these honestly i probably won't either unless you're an absolute nut when it comes into hearing the most little things you'll be able to see these but these are just algorithms that are going to slightly change the way the eq reacts to different frequencies for example when you open up fab filter it's usually a flat response so it doesn't affect the sound at all but when you change it to subtle or warm for example if you changed it to warm there might be a boost in some of the high end and it just might make that sound subtly a bit more warm if you do really want to use these i recommend going into the documents and actually reading what they fully do also if you didn't know in q3 you are able to right click a point and make dynamic but one thing they did add in q4 is the ability to adjust the attack and release which is pretty cool i probably won't be using that too much but it is a nice thing to have so now what i think my most used feature is going to be number two the fact that we have a session view now so if you go into fab filter q4 and you click this down here it's going to bring up every single one of the fab filters open in each session so i don't really know how you go about renaming each one of these but it gives you the option to adjust each and every fab filter in instance that you have on other tracks so for example say so for example this one is loaded up on i believe the bass track and we could just adjust it right here we could also blow it up so you could see it a little bit more and you can make these adjustments you can also adjust the range so you can see more or less of what you're doing like i said this will just be useful for sessions where you have a bunch of fab filters and you want to go in and make some changes for multiple different things another cool thing you could do is actually copy the settings from eq to eq so if you wanted to copy it just go here and go to a different EQ and you could just paste it. And then the last cool thing about this feature is you could turn on collision reference, which basically shows you which frequencies are headbutting against each other. And then obviously as you adjust, the red will go away. And you can see with this red right here. All right, and then the third and last feature I wanna go over is the spectral EQ. So if you make a point, right click and make it spectral, it's basically gonna turn this point into soothe. So you're gonna have to pull the threshold down. And as you can see, it's taking out resonant frequencies that just might be a little too harsh. And this is the threshold knob right now. If it's at the top, it means it's on auto. And then there's also the spectral density, which is basically how smooth you want it to be. So that's super cool. And then if you wanted to do it on the high end to make it act as like a soothe de-esser almost, you could just make a point over here, right click it, make spectral, bring the density down and just bring the threshold down. Basically, FabFilter is now Soothe. It's a de -esser. It's like the most powerful EQ, I mean, I've ever used. This video isn't sponsored at all, by the way. I don't think FabFilter even like sponsors people. I haven't seen it on YouTube, at least. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys FabFilter. So I'm definitely going to be using Q4 in my presets now, which means the preset game is just going to go up. So be ready for some new presets coming out with this. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.